Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and today's video is another video part of Tamara's cookbook collab. Her channel is Southern Wife Everyday Life and I'll have the playlist as well as Tamara's channel linked down below in my description box. This is, I don't even know what number it is anymore, I've lost count, but I've done several of these with her. And this is the cookbook that I'm going to be cooking out of again today. I have cooked from this cookbook before, but I did like a dinner and a dessert. But today I'm going to be cooking two breakfast ideas from this cookbook by the Pioneer Woman. Um, and I'll have this link to buy this cookbook if you're interested in buying this cookbook. I think I just got this at Walmart like on a Black Friday sale many years ago. But I have never even cooked anything out of it until Tamara started these cookbook collabs. So... I'm so thankful that she does it and I'm trying to participate in every one and she does one every month. So also if you're a YouTube creator, get you a cookbook and join in next month. If you need to know any information, just get in contact with me or Tamara from Southern Life Everyday Life and she will definitely guide you in your direction to participate in this cookbook club as well. Also, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but there's a playlist linked down below in my description box. You just click on that playlist link and you can watch everybody's video that's participating in this cookbook collab today and get all the recipes that your little heart can handle as well as maybe a new cookbook that you want to get and try some recipes out of. But anyway, I'll have all that in the description box for y'all to go check out. But let's get on into this video, y'all. <music> chose these mini sausage casseroles for the first breakfast idea that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. It looked pretty simple and I know that my family would just eat it right on up and I love anything with bell peppers in it so I knew this was going to be a good one. So to start with I'm just going to brown up my pork sausage. season up my um, brown ground sausage with some minced onion I think you could also probably use like regular real fresh onion but my family doesn't care for like bits of onion so I'm just going to use this minced onion and they'll never even know but it'll still have the same exact flavor as a real onion So while my sausage is finished browning up, I'm going to crack in my eggs into the bowl. And the original recipe calls for 15 eggs, but y'all, I just could not bring myself to crack up at 15 eggs. I knew that I did not necessarily need that many. So I just did around 10. Then you just want to mix up your eggs really well and then I'm going to add in 1 4 teaspoon of chili powder with my eggs. As well as a 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper. to chopping up my bell pepper and I'm just going to cut it in like small little cubes because that's what she said to do in her recipe and that's so they'll fit into the muffin size you know shape <music> will 
need a whole medium sized bell pepper. As you see, I got mine chopped up really small right here. And then I'm gonna go in with a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And it says for like fresh shredded cheese, but I don't have any fresh cheese. So I'm just gonna use this pack of cheese. But of course, if you like, and if you have some fresh cheese, shred it up, girlfriend, do your thing. But I'm gonna use this package kind. And then I'm gonna drain off the grease off my sausage and I'm gonna dump that in there as well. But first I'm gonna kind of mix up the cheese into the mixture and then I'll dump my sausage in there. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and a fun. Growing up is just a trap. And so first things first, you definitely want to spray your muffin pan just to make sure you don't get no stickage. You want those um, mini sausage muffins to come out nice and clean and perfect and hold their shape. But her recipe in the cookbook says to use a one third cup measure to scoop the mixture in there. Y'all, I'm just using my spoon, filling it up almost to like the top and it turned out fine for me that way. But of course, if you're exact like re Drummond is, then <laughs> you just fill yours up with a one third cup. But I'm just doing mine with the spoon and I'm also making a mess. If you're new here, I always make messes every time I cook. I always have a giant mess to clean up. I'm a messy cook, but all my food is always delicious and my family never complains. So if you're into messy cooks, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And if you are not new here and you're returning, thank you for coming back, girlfriend. I'm glad you enjoy my messy cooking. So I've had my oven preheating this whole time on 350 degrees and now I'm just going to pop those in there and it says for about 20 to 22 minutes. Here they are in the oven looking so delicious y'all. These things were so so yummy and then here they were once they were out of the oven. I plated them up so they could look real nice and fancy for y'all. I'm going to open one up and let y'all see the inside y'all. These were perfect breakfast idea they're also really good to put in the freezer and you just can heat them up whenever you're ready that's actually what i did with the leftovers that i had but the sausage and the bell pepper with the eggs and the cheese that's my favorite thing it's kind of like an omelet in a little muffin shape so for the next breakfast idea we're going to do some crunchy french toast sticks and y'all these things were extra crunchy i don't think i've ever had any french toast sticks that were this crunchy as these were. They were so delicious y'all and it's a lot of steps and it takes a pretty good bit of time to make but it's oh so worth it in the end. Alright, so to start with, we're going to cut up our bread or slice up our bread, and she calls for 12 slices of Texas toast. This is the bread that I had on hand. It's just plain old white bread, and I think I've got like five or six slices right there, and I'm just going to cut those up into the French toast stick shapes. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. Then I'm going to crack my eggs into a glass pie plate. That's what Ree recommended, so that's what I'm doing. And she's calls for six large eggs, so I'm cracking six large eggs in there. I actually messed up right here. I was only supposed to add a fourth a cup of sugar in there with the egg mixture and then the remaining amount of sugar in with the like bread mixture. But I wound up adding the whole entire half a cup of sugar in there and it still turned out all right. And then I'm just gonna add in a half a cup of half and half. Do you know how then I went in with like an eyeball amount of a teaspoon of vanilla extract as well as an eyeballed amount of ground cinnamon. Y'all, I love cinnamon, so I went really heavy on my cinnamon. I probably added more than a teaspoon, but it was delicious, y'all. It was fine. If you like cinnamon, add however much you want. If you don't like cinnamon, then you maybe don't add as much or add the exact teaspoon amount. Then just gonna whisk all that together and make sure all your eggs get mixed up in there really well. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. 
In a separate pie plate, I'm going to work on like the breadcrumb mixture and I'm just going to add in one and a half cups of panko breadcrumbs and then I'm going to crunch up some Captain Crunch cereal and you want a one and a half cup of that as well. Then you're just going to mix that in there with your breadcrumbs and you know mix it all up together and then you're going to melt about two tablespoons of butter. Add that in there with the breadcrumbs and the Captain Crunch cereal and kind of just use a fork and mix that all up really well. I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go. Y'all, I have no idea why I chose that like little spreader utensil thing. I don't even know what it's called, but I don't know why I chose that to use to mash or to beat my cereal up, but I thought that was really funny while I was <laughs> watching this back. And then as you can see right here, I'm just mixing it up together and then I'm gonna melt this two tablespoons of butter and gonna add that in there as well. So now we're going to start dipping our strips of bread in the egg mixture and then in the breadcrumb mixture and make sure you get it really good and coated with the Captain Crunch cereal and the breadcrumbs and then you're going to lay that on a pan with one of those like cookie sheets. That's what Reese said and then we're going to like after you get all those covered with the mixtures you're going to take it and pop this in your freezer for about 30 minutes just to give it a good old flash freeze. Something's off the way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in a car. Let me see who you are, who you really are. going to transfer them after you flash freeze them you're going to transfer them into a ziploc bag and i chose these like little worst size ziploc bags and i just put about three some of them had four in it just because that's just the exact amount that you know my kids would eat or myself would eat and i feel like that worked out really well for us and then i just popped those in the freezer here's how they looked and then the next morning whenever we were ready to eat breakfast i just popped them back out of the freezer they're still in the bag right here as you can see they're really good and frozen now and i just kind of break them apart pop them back on the pan with the cookie sheet pop those in the oven on 425 degrees you want to preheat your oven before you pop those in there and i bake them in there for 15 to 18 minutes and y'all like i said these were the crunchiest french toast sticks that i have ever eaten in my whole entire life and i'm 29 years old been going on and about the crispiness but i figured i'd just let y'all see it for y'all self and i just topped with some powdered sugar and some syrup and i also served some fruit on the side but that's it for this video y'all i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already also don't forget to go check out the playlist down below and i'll catch you all in the next one bye y'all